Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm going to talk about something I mentioned in my last video that UiPath have made some efforts to make things easier to do inside of Orchestrator. And one thing I talked about was this guide that would make it easier to add unattended robots. So in this video I'm going to show you how you can add an unattended robot to Orchestrator and run a process on that robot in less than 60 seconds. So it only works in, in a community edition so far, but it's coming to Enterprise as well. So, so be patient and watch the video all the way to the end. And also, of course, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all of that stuff. But let's get to it. All right, so we're inside Orchestrator, and this Orchestrator is completely empty. The only thing that I've added to this Orchestrator is at the tenant level in the packages section, there's a package called test, and that's just a simple automation that will do basically nothing. It will just add a log message to the log. And then also I have a virtual machine here. This is my robot machine. I've installed UiPath on this machine and the assistant is running, but the assistant is not connected to uh, my Orchestrator yet. So there's no connection between Orchestrator and uh, assistant. Uh, there's no users created in Orchestrator. There's no machine created in Orchestrator. So the first time we go through this guide, we're going to actually be asked, okay, what user do you want to use? What machine do you want to use? And when doing so, we will create them in Orchestrator, in the guide. So the guide might take a couple of minutes the first time, but the second time around, when that user and uh, machine has been created, it's going to be very, very quick to set this up. So let's try and do it. So one option is you are at the tenant level in Orchestrator and you go to robots and then you can click the unattended setup button over here on the top right. Another option is you can go to the shared folder and then click the plus sign up here at the menu and then select unattended robot and I'll do that now. And then you get uh, the guide basically and what it lets you do right now is only to set up a robot from a machine template. There will be options to set up from an elastic robot pool and other things later on but right now this is the only option, so I'll just click next. Then it's going to ask me, what machine do you want to use for this? And I don't have any machines configured yet. So I'll click add machine, and I'll type in home robot, that's just the name I'm going to give the machine template, and then I'm going to add um, one unattended production license uh, to that machine. Click next. And now we're back at the machine selection screen and now we have added a machine so we can select home robot click next and then in this screen we need to select which account or which robot account do we want to execute the robots we don't have a robot account so we'll create a new robot account by clicking this button we will just call it my robot and then i need to enter the username for the account that the robot uses that will be the Yebe user on the home robot machine, and I will enter the password for that account also. And click Next. And now that we've created an account, then we can select that account. That's actually the only account we can select, so we'll just click Next. And now we can select what folder do we want to add that new machine and that new account to. So we'll just click the Shared folder, click Next. And basically that's almost it. Now this screen shows us some very important information because this shows us what we need in order to be able to connect our assistant to this uh, orchestrator. So we have the client ID or machine key down here and then the client secret. So if we first of all copy the name of our tenant and then go to the assistant on the other machine and then paste in that in the orchestrator URL field, go back and then click this button to copy the client ID, go back to the machine, paste it in, go back to orchestrator and then copy the client secret, go back to the machine, paste it in and connect. And then we go to the sort of uh, main screen of the assistant. And now we can see that it is connected as an unattended robot. What we can do now is we can go back to Orchestrator, we can click Done, and now the robot has been set up. So if we, in the shared folder, then go to the Automations tab, add a new process, click Next, Next, and Create. 
and then select to start that process now. And if I click start and we go to the machine, we should see that being installed and being run and then uh, it's done running that uh, job. So we'll go back to orchestrator and we can see that this job has completed successfully. And if we go to the logs for that job, we can see that it just uh, printed out a log message saying hello. So that's it really. So let's try and reset everything in Assistant and in Orchestrator. So we can try and set it up again, but where the machine and the robot account already exists. And that's probably the scenario that most of you will run into on a daily basis. So let's try and do that. We'll go to the home screen of the shared folder, and then we can go to users. We can see that the uh, My Robot account has been assigned to this folder. We'll unassign it. There we go, it's gone. And we can do the same for the machine. Unassign from folder. We will go to our virtual machine, go to the orchestrator settings, disconnect it, and delete the settings. So we have nothing in here as well. So now we are basically at the starting point again. We want to create a new unattended robot. And now we'll try to do it without rushing it, but do it as fast as we can. So this time I'll go to the tenant level and I'll click this unattended setup button. I'll select the machine template. I'll click next. We already have the home robot. So we'll click next when selecting that. We already have the my robot account to run the robot. I'll click next. And we want it to run in the shared folder and click next. First, I'll copy the tenant name. Paste that in. We'll copy the client ID. Paste that in and we will copy the client secret, paste that in and click connect. And we should then see it be connected as an unattended robot. And now if we go back to orchestrator, click done, go to the shared folder, and then we'll add the process again, just to see that it goes fairly quick. Next, next, and create. Start now and start the process. Go to the machine, see that it runs briefly, Go back to orchestrator and see that the job has completed successfully. Now, that was quick and it was very easy. And this is what I talked about in my video, that UiPath is really making an effort to make things easier for us when we're working inside of orchestrator. And this is just one example, and I'm sure there's a lot more coming. Um, so, so we'll keep an eye on that uh, going forward. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. It's really important. And subscribe to my channel. Give it a, you know, hit the notification bell, all of that. And then there's going to be a couple of videos popping up somewhere on the screen here that you can also watch. And then I just hope I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.